Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Photo Finds. This episode is for January 13th, 2015. I'm your host, Nick Russo. Let's go ahead and get started this week. And today we are getting started in the Hard Rock Hotel at Universal Studios Orlando. Or Universal Orlando. This is another Lowe's Run Hotel. And it's going to bring us to our third Lowe's Hotel tour that I have brought you here during my time hosting Photo Finds. So, we're getting started in the lobby. It's not a very big lobby, but as we look straight ahead, we can see the sitting area. And if we look over to the left, that's where the concierge desk is. And over to the right is where the check-in desk is. And there's a drum set out here. And there's a lot of uh, rock and music related paraphernalia and memorabilia all around the lobby. And we'll get a look at that but let's get a look over here at the sitting area first. The sitting area is huge. It actually takes up about half of the lobby. Tons of chairs, tons of couches and, and tables. They anticipate a lot of waiting, I guess. Um, now, over to the right of the lobby is where you can find Velvet, and that's their bar. They also have live music within Velvet on select nights, if not every night, but there are usually advertisements out here about who will be playing that night, and they also have some magicians that were going to be there on the actual day that I was there. Uh, we didn't see them, because I didn't go into Velvet that night, they are only there during the day visiting, but they had some magic acts there. And there's also musical performances I mentioned. And if we head down the hallway a little bit, that's also where you'll find Palm, and that's their more upscale dining option. As we head back into the lobby, that's where you'll find the business center, and uh, that's they have quotes all around the hotel, so the business center, you'll find taking care of business, and it's not a very large business center, a couple computers, printers, and right outside of the business center is where you'll, where you'll find those express kiosks where you enter in your room key to get your express pass for the parks, and if you don't already know, every single Lowe's Hotel well, the three larger hotels, Portofino, Hard Rock, and Royal Pacific, they give you front-of-the-line express with your room. So uh, Cabana Bay doesn't do that, and I don't believe Sapphire Falls will do it when it opens up. They also have some ballrooms and meeting rooms. And now, just taking a look in the window of the red velvet lounge here. Uh, it wasn't open at this time, as I mentioned before, but I guess they use this space as a uh, holding area for people's luggage when the bar isn't open. So uh, I guess you can check in early and leave your luggage here, and once you come back and your room is ready, they'll bring up your luggage to you so it can be ready for you when you come back from the theme parks. Obviously, as I mentioned before, just like you'll find in all of the other Hard Rock casinos and hotels and the cafes, there's a lot of memorabilia that was used by by musicians. Uh, sometimes they're originals and sometimes they are uh, replicas. In this case, I don't know what this Jimi Hendrix guitar and outfit, if it was an original or a reproduction, but it varies from item to item. Some more stuff up on the walls, awards, and accessories, things like that. And also in the lobby, that's where you'll find the Rock Shop. It's a pretty large shop. All Hard Rock related items. And branching off from the lobby is where you'll find the elevators and towers to go up to the actual rooms. A couple more items as we head down to the kitchen, which is another one of the restaurants that is on property. And you head down this grand spiral staircase as this saxophone chandelier hangs above your head. I really like this chandelier. It's the first time I actually got an up-close look at it. And down here is also where you'll find Emac and Bolios, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They serve Starbucks coffee, and it's also just a quick-serve location where you can get some grab-and-go items, coffee, and sandwiches, things like that. Now we're in the kitchen restaurant. Now, this is not a Hard Rock Cafe, 
but it does offer some of the items, some of the similar items that you'll find at the Hard Rock Cafe. It's very American style, burgers and chicken, things like that. Um, looks very good. I've never eaten here myself, but I definitely would. It's a nice atmosphere with an open kitchen, and you can see some of those stage lights hanging there up on the scaffolding. Now we're out here at the pool. It's a very nice open pool. They do have a bar out here, a full service bar, and plenty of seating. I believe you can also order food. Now they also have these cabanas or these private bungalows, if you want to call them that, that you can rent out. They come with TVs and a waiter. And also right next to those bungalows, there is this little kiddie pool out here, very shallow water. And it also has a slide out here that empties out into the main pool. Also, there are pathways that connect the pool area to City Walk, so you can either walk to Universal and Islands of Adventure and City Walk, or you can take one of their ferry boats, and those are very popular among guests. There's that walking path again, and it meanders. It's about a five-minute walk, maybe ten if you're going slower. Now, the only thing I want to head into Universal Studios for is to show you this construction wall that has gone up around the Garden of Allah area. No word on exactly what this is, but there are a ton of rumors floating around why this construction wall has gone up. One of the more popular rumors is that they will be adding a new entrance to the E.T. ride that will come out here to the Central Park area. So that's not confirmed yet. Another popular rumor is that they'll be taking away all of those buildings that Garden of Allah is part of, and that area will become kind of a... Spongebob expansion, one of the popular myths, is a bikini bottom water area. So who knows exactly what that construction wall is up for, but it does extend all the way around to the kid zone area, right up to the Spongebob store pants location. So we'll see in due time, and I'm sure we'll be hearing an announcement about what that is about. But other than that, that's going to do it for this week in Photo Finds. Thank you so much for stopping by this week for January 13th, 2015. I'm Nick Russo, and until next week, have fun, guys. Bye.